How's it going everybody? Mr. Smithy here, aka your favorite hamster to shove your ass into. Guys, thank you so much for getting my weight loss video up to almost 500 plays. I think uh, at the time of recording this, it's up to like 496. That blows me away. That is fucking amazing and I can't thank you guys enough for helping it get there. But enough of that sappy shit, we're here to look at some fucked up piercings. So let's get right into it. All right, so I've actually seen this one a couple of times. And so the big thing is, is it looks clean, at least from what I can tell in this blurry ass image. It doesn't look like it was done bad or anything like that. I mean, you have fucked up the side of your face for the rest of your life, though, my guy. The only upside to this is you have a really neat way to eat Slim Jims now. Okay, now, here's my thing. It says, worst piercing ever. But is it really, or is it like the best piercing ever? Think about all the things you can just put that you can put a hammer there. If you have like a small flip phone, you can just shove it right in between the nips. Some call it weird, I call it innovation. So this is what I like to call the onion ring ear. Um, because don't get grossed out for the people who like Burger King onion rings, but legitimately, I don't know why, but that's just what this reminds me of. It's just weird shaped and it's crusty and it's disgusting and you should just, uh, this is a result, 110% more than likely, this is a result of stretching way too fucking fast. Um, I'm not sure exactly what size he is. I'm at 30 millimeters and it has taken me from 2019 up until now just here recently in like the past couple of days to get up to 30 millimeters take your time go slow or this will fucking happen this there's no reason for your ears to look like this if you just take your time okay <laughs> normally i'm like you do you you live your life do what you got to do to make yourself happy but look how fucking crusty it is it, it it's like he just pierced it and then forgot about it and just like never fucking did anything to upkeep it like at all. If you're going to do something like this, at least take care of it because you're going to end up losing like half of your fucking face if this gets infected enough. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. <laughs> right, oh my god, she pierced through his nostril at the same time. Oh, fuck. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my septum pierced. And I couldn't have met that had to fucking, oh my God. How did he not? Uh, I don't even know how to. Was he charged for two piercings? Yeah, 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 yeah. Open it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, open it. <laughs> So I don't know how well you guys can see that, but pretty much this girl's earlobe is just split open. And every time she opens her mouth, it just kind of opens with her. That is, that is fucking tragic, but that is one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen. I went to get my nose done, right? I was getting mm -hmm. my fucking septum piercing. Yeah. This shit's leaking. leaking. He put the needle in and he, it, he was, he kept saying like, oh shit, oh shit. And I was like, what the fuck? I felt blood like all First of all, if you're ever in the middle of a piercing and you hear, oh shit, oh shit, get the fuck out of the chair. If you don't already have a needle in your face, if they've already like pulled it out and you're not in any danger of hurting yourself or anything like that, fucking get out of there. All right here, bro. Like even like down my shirt, it's like, it was blood. Look, mm -hmm. it was blood everywhere. So he took the needle out and he was like, that one didn't do good and i was like what the fuck does that even like, mean it didn't it went through on this side but like it was tough to get through on the other side and when he pushed it this motherfucker hit cartilage that's what the fuck that is okay time for dr michael to get a little bit scientific with you okay um i don't know a lot about anatomy i just took it in college okay um so pretty much when you go to get your septum piercing you have a sweet spot inside your septum okay the piercing isn't actually going through the cartilage it's going through that sweet spot and everybody's sweet spot is different um but typically it's sort of like you know right up here towards the front of your nose if you go through that cartilage it is going to hurt 10 times fucking worse it's not going to heal right you're not going to be able to keep that piercing yeah that is exactly what happened the this guy hit cartilage and he just wasn't man enough to own up to it. I gotta, I gotta take a deep breath in. Are they, are they like at home? 
they are 100% in their house. Dude, don't fucking pierce yourself at home, especially if it's like a fucking septum. It's through. That is not through. Now get the horseshoe. No fucking shot. That's all the way through. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but there's a guy in the background and he's like, they're in there doing a fucking septum piercing and they're in there trying to fucking MacGyver it. Okay, look, there's a reason why there are professional piercers out there. Okay, don't get me wrong. There are shitty fucking piercers out there, even in a studio. Okay, there are still people out there like you can have a job title and still fucking suck at your job. Okay, but do your research on these people before you go into a studio, like thoroughly research them. Most of the time a piercer will have a portfolio. Same with a tattoo artist. A tattoo artist will have a portfolio. Okay, check them out. Do your research. Most of the time they like they may even have reviews like on Google and shit like that. But don't do it at home because 100% of the time, unless you're very, very lucky and a very slim margin, you're gonna fuck it up, especially with a delicate piercing like this. Oh my god, she has a piercing kit. Yeah, 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 yeah! No, she has a piercing kit. No. That doesn't fucking matter, my guy. Yeah. Okay. No, stick it through there. Through where? The hole. This is such a hole. fucking bad idea. See, it wasn't all the way through like they thought. Ow. Now it's, it's all the fine. way through. It's fine. Give me a sec. She's doing great, Rosa. Oh no! No, Go she's ahead. not. It. Yo. It's a good thing it's not all the way in here. Let me twist it on first. Bro, the needle is all the way in. Are you in pain? Yes. That's a stupid fucking question. Of course she's in pain, dude. No. Just put it on. Just grab it and then put it in. My eyes are watering. At least a 99% chance they hit cartilage there. Because someone who's doing it at home, they're not going to know how to find that sweet spot. They're not going to know what to look for. 110%, I guarantee you, that's through that cartilage. And I would say more than likely, this girl doesn't have that piercing in her nose anymore. Okay. Are they actually in it? Okay, so it looks like they're actually in a studio this time. Okay. Okay, went right through. Looks like no problem. Pretty fucking dead center and straight and shit. Hell yeah. What the? Oh, dude, she is tugging on her like she's a fucking fish. Holy dude, she f she folded like her nose over half of her fucking face there. Oh, I mean, at least she got it through, but holy shit. Yeah, those eyes are tearing up like fucking mad, too. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. This very Rolly-esque video. Um, yeah. By the way, Rolly, if you ever watch this, I love your fucking shit, man. But guys, as always, stay fucking awesome, and we'll catch you next time.